G'day gamers, it's Nick here from the Rian Connoisseurs, and you could probably tell by the thumbnail and the title of this video what this kind of video is going to be. So, I got a parcel in the mail today from Pop Culture. Scribbled out the name. I took the invoice out because that's got the address on it. Um, order from Pop Culture Australia, whatever. I think it's just this yeah, there's only one pop culture in the world, that's in Australia. Um, this order, I was hoping to do this video yesterday on my day off, but I didn't rock up yesterday. Because Australia Post are hopeless. So, where I live, um, Adelaide, the capital of South Australia, is a three-hour drive away. And I was tracking it, and it said it arrived in Adelaide at 1.50pm on Wednesday afternoon. So, three-hour drive away. So, you'd expect that on Thursday, it would have arrived at my house. But, no, Australia Post is a joke. And I don't know how their system works. And it rocked up today, Friday the 7th of July. But first world problems. So, pop vinyls are in here. I know that much. Um, so, yeah. Um, I've got a um, Loot Crate pin, which is what I'm going to use to open up this bad boy. They've got, it's actually two boxes, and they've taped them together. I don't know why. Like, surely... Like, I've done big orders from Pop Culture before. Oh, that hurt. And, um, they had big boxes. Now, I've kept the big boxes because they'll be good for moving. If I ever move out of my house. Ah, there we go. <laughs> ah! Ah! Ow. That hurt my chest. Um... I am demolishing this. Hope you guys seen that. I hope that went through well, but yeah. We'll open this one first. Okay, let's see. Uh, they never make them easy to open. All my years as a night filler in a supermarket come in handy right now. How to open the box. Oh, I should probably get a knife or something sharper. There we go. That's it. Right. I've got it. Ah, there we go. Ah. Alrighty. What a box to start off with. They fit perfectly in these pop vinyls. So, what do you guys reckon those ones there are? I know what they are. I don't know what set they're from. Rest in peace, Luke Craig Pin. Loot Crate's a joke of a service, just don't, don't even bother with it. Um, don't, don't get me started on Loot Crate. <laughs> Alrighty, so the first one we have right here is Lone Wanderer from the Fallout set. There he is there. So here's a quick shot of the sides. The male Lone Wanderer, that is. And there's a look at the back. Um, I've done a video a couple of uh, weeks ago, or a month ago, when Bethesda and Funko announced the Fallout Pop Vinyl set. Um, so, all that was, that was just um, images I found online of them. But here's the real deal. The actual Pop Vinyls. So, let's do the unboxing. Um, so, yeah. Alright, I'm going to put them aside. He looks beautiful. He looks very handsome, I should say. So, there he is there. Oh, he's got his Vault jumpsuit on. Uh, does it have Vault 101? Yep, I'm just making sure that was there. He's got his nice little pistol there. So there he is, the male Lone Wanderer from the Fallout 3 set. It actually is the Fallout 3 set, uh, not the Fallout 4 set, I'm pretty sure. I think it's just, or it might just actually be Fallout, I'm not sure. But the next one we've got here, it is just the Fallout set. That is the Brotherhood of Steel member. Bloody hell awesome. He looks badass. Everyone wants a piece of power armor, power armor, don't they? Could you imagine that as a collector's edition? Like, power armor? Like, $1,500 and you get yourself with a, a pair of power armor. Here he is. He looks awesome. 
He's got his fusion rifle. I'm pretty sure it's a fusion rifle. But there's nice. Very good. Uh, none of the Fallout set are bobbleheads. They're just the regular pop vinyls. But they all can't be bobbleheads. If you're after the bobbleheads, uh, keep an eye out for the Marvel. Most Marvels are bobbleheads. And all the Star Wars ones are bobbleheads. Alrighty. So here we have the female Lone Wanderer. So in Fallout, you're able to make yourself a male or a female. So they had to please everyone, which is good that they done a male and a female version. Unlike the Mass Effect set, the Commander Shepard in that set is just a male. They don't have the default female um, Shepard. But, here we go. Let's crack this bad girl open. And there she is. Right there. There's the back. Vault 101 jumpsuit again. Cool. What I would, what what I reckon would be cool with these is if um you could get different variants of the male and female, but with just different guns. Because you see, he's got the, uh, she's got the rifle, and he has got. Well, once I drop my hand, he's got the handgun. So, would be cool if they did different variants of that. So there's those two. The fourth one in the set is a feral ghoul. Now, this is just a standard ghoul. I would like in the future to see a glow-in-the-dark feral ghoul. I reckon that would be pretty cool. So let's crack him open. Um, there is a glow-in-the-dark in this set. So, once I don't, I don't think he's in this box, but I will be in the next box. So, there's the feral ghoul there. I really like this. Just by looking at it, you can see like the bruises on his head. And he's got dents in his head as well. It's been bashed. So there's the ferrigal, and he's missing teeth. There's the ferrigal. And he does not want to stand. That's okay, because he will be living in his box. Like ferrigal. Next one we have is everyone's favourite enemy, the Deathclaw. What I reckon would be nice is if they done a jumbo size Deathclaw. That would be awesome. So, here he is. He is bloody beautiful. His teeth, his claws, his horns. There's a little close up from there. Uh, his head is sticking out as well, which is very good. And on the back, he's got his spikes on his back. So far, the death claw is my favourite. Next one we've got here is a Super Mutant. This is another one that could have got the 6 inch variant. Super Mutant right there. Let's open him up. Whoa! And he just fell straight out of the box. Now what I like about him is his giant hammer. That's really cool. He's the, the Super Mutant. Pop on him. Let's put him next to the Death Claw. So, that's the end of box one. One, two. Box two. Once I get it open. This can't be safe using this pin. So in this box here, so with there being eight pop vinyls in the Fallout set, I've only opened and showed you guys um, six. So that means there's two left in this set. So what could this box also contain? More pop vinyls! So, yeah, more pop vinyls. Wait, what? Six. I think I'm... Ah, no, that's okay. I thought there was eight pop vinyls. Well, there technically is eight pop vinyls in this set, but I only ordered seven of the Fallout. But here's what contains in the rest of the box. Um, this, on the other hand, was free of charge. This magazine. Anything in there? 
stuff. Normally, when you order from Pop Culture, they'll add like a couple of they'll, they'll add a couple of magnets or even you know some neat little bottle openers in there um, things. But they must have not thought I was worthy of them this time. But we'll start off with the last pop vinyl in the Fallout set, and this one here is a glow in the dark variant of Volt Volt Boy. So, or the Pip Boy. Well, no, not the Pip Boy. These are because the Pip Boy is the thing that goes in your arm. The Volt Boy, or the main character. Well, the main character which you see in Fallout, the, on all the promotional gear. So there's the glow in the dark Volt Boy. Now, on the packaging, he looks like a regular Volt Boy, and on the back, it does not say there is the glow in the dark Volt Boy, which means this is a hidden pop vinyl. I did not know about this until I actually went onto the Fallout um, page on Pop Culture. Um, I don't plan on getting the. Actually, I reckon I will just get the standard uh, Vault Boy just after looking at it because this one here is just green. So I'm pretty sure my uh, local EB's got one, so I might go down there tomorrow after work and pick him up. But he is the green screen, glow in the dark Vault Boy from the Fallout 3 Pop Vinyl set. Very cool. So, charge a glow in the dark pop vinyl if you don't know. All you got to do is you probably can't see the light, but you got to sit it up to the light for probably about five ten minutes, and then it glows in the dark. Very cool indeed. So, thank you, Mr. Gold, for standing. So, the next three pop vinyls, um, two different sets. First one is the Unmasked Star Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy set. He is a Bob Bean, a Marvel pop vinyl. He is a bobblehead. And the box is pretty banged up, but that's probably my fault. So we'll open this one up. And there he is. Bobblehead. I like second down bobblehead. So there he is. There. He's got his beard. Two pistols, and he's got his cloak, well, cloak, his um, trench coat, whatever you want to call it. Every country has different um, words on things like that. Like, in Australia, we call, well, in America, they, they call their cars trucks, whereas in Australia, we call them four-wheel drives. And we call trucks the big trucks. Big trucks, yeah. So, there's Star-Lord. The next one is from a Netflix-exclusive TV show, and... It's it's one of a kind TV show. It's just the characters in the show, they're very well acted, and you can it, like yeah, just watch it. It's called Orange is the New Black. So here we have I didn't even know that was her first name, Galina Red Reznikov. Or Red. So there's Red. Um, Red is in season one. She is the cook in the prison, Litchfield Prison. Um, here's the back of all the ones you can also get. You're able to get Piper, the main character. Well, is Piper really the main character? After watching season three, I don't think she she is. Um, then you got Alex Voss, played by I don't even know. I can't remember a name from that '70s show. Then there's Red. There's also Crazy Eyes, and there's Pornstash. What's his real name? George Pornstash Mendez. So that's the Orange is the New Black set right there. Um. I've only got two, two of the five, but who knows? I might pick up the other ones later, in, in a later date. There's some other characters which I would rather get. Um, I can't even remember her name. Such as the old Asian lady who works in the commissary. That's everyone's favourite character. So, here we have a red. There she is, yeah. They done a nice job with her hair as well, I like that. So, and as you can see, she's got her, the glasses on her, so that's, that is red. From the orange is the new black set. And she does not want to stand. She's got such a big head and a tiny body, she does not want to stand. And the next one is basically, well, this would have to be everyone's favourite character, orange is the new black. Her name is Suzanne Warren, a.k.a. Crazy Eyes. So, I'll pick this one up 
because obviously she's my favourite character. Crazy Eyes. Everyone loves Crazy Eyes. Um, this pot vinyl is unique, though, because as you can see in that picture there, she is holding a piece of pie. Whereas on the back, it doesn't have the pie variant of Suzanne Warren. So that's why I picked it up. I thought I'd get the, um, the, the special edition pop vinyl over just the standard pop vinyl. So, here we go. Suzanne Warren. A.K.A. Crazy Eyes. As you can see. It's like a nice pie. What kind of pie is that? I'd say that would be raspberry pie. Okay. And someone just tagged me in something in Facebook. And they've done a nice job on her hair as well. So, let me just try and stand these ones up. Oh, actually, I'll put these two over here. Put these ones here. I don't know what it is with um, pop vinyls on females, on women, but they are their bodies are much smaller than the male pop vinyls. Whoa, Star Lord just fell over. So, I'll pull this down, and we can do a little quick recap, shall we? Whoop. So, here we have got the Brotherhood of Steel pop vinyl, the male and female Lone Wanderers, with my Leonidas in the background there. We've got the Super Mutant, and we've also got the Death Claw pop vinyls. The Death Claw would have to be my favourite, closely followed by the Brotherhood of Steel Mantle. And here we have the glow in the dark of Vault Boy and the Feral Ghoul. And that is what happened to my Ah oh, well. And in the other two we've got the crazy eyes holding the pie. Then we got Red and we've got the Unmasked Star Lord who is looking quite depressed. He's facing down. So yeah, that's it for me guys. Thanks for watching this pop vinyl unboxing video. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you have any of the Fallout or Oranges and New Black or Guardians of the Galaxy pop vinyls, let me know in the comments below. And let me know what ones, what pop vinyl set I should have a look at next and possibly purchase an unbox for you guys. Thanks for watching and have a good day.